In a bid to hunt down attackers of police personnel and mitigate criminal elements in the state, the Emo State Police Command says it will rejig its patrol strength across the 27 local government areas of the state. Ajibada Praise tells us more. As part of the rejigging effort, the command is deploying operational vehicles ranging from SUVs, space buses, armored personnel carriers to all divisional offices across the state. Commissioner Aboki said though the vehicles were formerly in a sorry state, but with the intervention of the governor, they have all been fixed and ready to serve. He maintained that with availability of the operational vehicles, they will launch out into the hinterlands and smoke out criminals from their hideouts. He said tactical units such as anti-kidnapping, tiger base, anti-cult, anti-vice, quick intervention team, among others doing well in the crime fight, will be empowered to do more. I went to fight all the crime, the criminal and criminality in the mostly, and crime will be reduced. The real criminal will be one. It will only be used for crime control, not any other agency. No, it should not be used for any other apart from patrol system. The governor on his part said he will continue to support the police and other security agencies in the state as part of his determined efforts to ensure the safety of lives and property of all law-abiding residents of the state. This is my hope that it will support and assist in that determined effort. Uh, the most kind of society. I don't know, but I think it was very, very close to half a billion dollars. Yeah, it is a provisional issue. Mm. It is not about conviction anymore. It is determination mm. that we want to fight crime. A security expert, Frank Omere, who is equally involved in the homeland security activities, commended the governor's intervention and clamored for a collective fight against insecurity in the state. If you must fight the people on this underworld, you must release the equipment. And I want to personally tell you in Imo State that the executive governor of Imo State, the Senator Hope Zodema, have really empowered the police. The fight against armed separatists in the state has continued to keep the police on their toes as both government officials and security personnel are being targeted. The CP express optimism that they will win the fight against men of the underworld, given the current support from the people and government of the state. Ajibadi praise, Trust TV News, or worry. Away from security and now to health matters.